Okay, now there is a three-directional background, and you can see how the dog's face just pops right off of that. And that's without the dog's face being done in any way except chain-stitching the outline. I haven't done anything else. But see how that makes a background? And then you can, like I said, um, just fill in in the different directions any way you want to create... Um, I don't have one of her paintings here. I do have a duck painting here. Um, if you look at the duck, see how the background is different shades of yellow? Um, you can do that same effect with thread, just by where you fill in those three directions. Um, you can do that same thing with thread on this. Now, two quick notes on the 6212. I got to this part, and we had a slight bobbin issue. Um, I think this machine is a little bit more highly engineered than the 6012. And um, it's a rotary, and I think the other one was just a regular oscillating drop-in bobbin. The bobbin was in there correct, was threaded correctly, and the upper thread was breaking and I was getting loops on the bottom. And what I had to do was loosen the upper tension. Now, it had sewn two directions without a problem and then all of a sudden wanted the tension loose. Um, I think this might be, I used to have a 500A and the 500A, a lot of people get very frustrated with them, um, but they're like a finely tuned engine, you know, and one little thing goes out of whack and they get cranky. Um, I don't think this is quite like a 500A, but it's it may be, not that things slip, but just that um, it's very aware of the fabric. As this fabric got more and more quilted, the tension need changed. So you would have to pay attention to that if you have one of those, one of these. And the other thing is, an advantage, this loads from the front, the needle threads front to back, which means this can take twin needle. So that's another advantage to this machine. Um, so far, so good. Every machine is going to be a little bit annoying, um, but so far, so good on this one.